Behind the lunacy and eventually the extreme violence of Tex Avery cartoons, there was a mild-mannered man, self-effacing and more than a little insecure. He would never leave his office or the space he worked without holding a, something in his hand that looked like he was working, like an exposure sheet or something, because he just carried it for the looks, because I, I think he was frightened of losing his job or being, or it looked like he was loafing. But all of these pictures showed signs of complete extrovert, you know, his gags, everything. He, he tried new things, which a lot of us didn't dare to do. But uh, he did. He took large steps in, in attempts at gags uh, that we were reluctant to try, and he did it. Grim Natwick went on to work with Disney and was responsible for animating the character of Snow White, drawing on his considerable experience with female cartoon stars. Grim still lives in Hollywood, surrounded by his Betty Boop memorabilia. Walter Lance, who began in 1916, went on in the 40s and 50s to create Woody Woodpecker. He continued to run his own studio till he retired in 1972. Frizz Freeling, who made the first of the Merry Melodies, later brought to life the warring duo of Sylvester and Tweety Pie, and more recently he made the Pink Panther cartoons. The heritage of Tex Avery, who died in 1981, had been passed on to Chuck Jones, who created The Roadrunner and made many of the classic Bugs Bunny and Daffy Duck cartoons. And the last of the true pioneers from the silent days, Otto Mesmer, died recently at the age of 91. It was only in the last years of his life that his invention of Felix the Cat was recognized.